Please go ahead. Okay. So, uh, oh, can you hear me? Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So, so today, uh, first of all, other sang organizer are uh, inviting me this workshop. So today, I'd like to talk about uh, the thermodynamic and the thermal transport studies of Kitaku candidate material alpha ruthenium CL3. So this work mainly has been done by Kasahara Setsubu Asaba in my group in collaboration with Takashibachi's group in the University of Tokyo. And all samples are grown by uh, Tanaka's group, uh, Tokyo Institute of Technology. And Nasu Motome and uh, Hiki and Travis and Yamada Fujimoto and, and Moon provide us many important uh, theoretical suggestions. Okay, uh, In my talk, I'd like to start with the introduction and uh, uh, Kitafu quantum spin digit. Then I talk about thermal hold effect in alpha denim CL3. After that, I'd, I'd like to talk about uh, topological properties of alpha denim CL3, which I mainly discuss today, focusing on planar thermal hold effect on the Chan number and the Majorana gap and the Dirac cone and uh, uh, the first order topological phase transition. Finally, I'd like to uh, uh, point out the uh, phenomenic origin of the summer hole effect and discuss why the condensation should occur in this material. The uh, quantum spin rigid is a quantum, uh, the material in which the quantum fluctuation melts the long range magnetic order even at the t equals zero. And uh, this is a spin analog of the quantum uh, rigid, such as heading three and heading four. And there uh, are there are several requirements for the quantum spin leaking. The first is the absence of magnetic long range order, and the second is the absence of spontaneous symmetrical breaking. In addition to this requirement, uh, uh, an important uh, concept has come into play. It is a top, uh, fractionalized excitations associated with the topological order uh, due to the uh, quantum mechanical entanglement. So we have been studying the a quantum spin liquid by thermal transport properties. Let me discuss why we measure the, the, the thermal transport properties. Because the fractional excitations are charge neutral, so they do not carry the charge, but they may carry the heat. So if we heat up the, uh, the side of the crystal, the temperature gradient may uh, appear, and uh, uh, we can determine the thermal conductivity. And if we apply the magnetic field, uh, the thermal gradient may appear, the perpendicular to the thermal current. So this is analog to the, the electrical hole effect. The, what is important is the thermal conductivity kappa x, xx can sensibly probe low energy itinerant excitations. And more importantly, the thermal conductivity, a thermal hole conductivity kappa xy provide access to various topological excitations. Uh, let me uh, show you the uh, example of the thermal conductivity of quantum spin liquid. So we measure the thermal conductivity of this opening compound, DM131. This is a, uh, yeah, this compound is a triangular lattice, a spin one half anti antiferron magnet with the exchange constant nearly 200 Kelvin. Or as a NMR experiment shows a magnetic order does not occur down to 20 millikelvin, which corresponds to the 10,000th or 1,000th of J. The uh, heat capacity has been measured by uh, uh, the SMH network. The, uh, here is the heat capacity of, of DMIT uh, along with the uh, charge order reference with, uh, with no spins. Also, this material is uh, uh, the uh, 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 insulator. Uh, this material has a finite gamma term indicating the gapless excitation. The middle Yamashita measures the Thermal conductivity of this compound. Uh, this, uh, this shows a uh, uh, kappa xx uh, divided by t as a function of t squared of the, of the d, -mit, d -mit along with the uh, 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 charge order difference. So that this difference comes from the, uh, the spin contributions. What is important is that uh, uh, he observes the residual thermal conductivity at t equals zero, indicating the gapless itinerant excitations. So recently, uh, our Canadian and Chinese group uh, reported the absence of such a term. 
So the middle, the most, the、uh, lead measures the thermal conductivity very recently. The he cooled down the sample very slowly. Actually, this is a, 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 a little crazy experiment. He cooled down the sample、uh, taking、uh, nearly one month. So then、uh, he observed the final kappa、uh, of residual thermal conductivity shown here. After that, he、uh, heat up the crystal and cool down rapidly in two hours. So the he, he,、uh, this is the same result of the same crystal.、Uh, the, uh, he never observed the residual thermal conductivity. So this result completely reproduces their data. So this means the、uh, eternal excitations of quantum superlegate are extremely sensitive to disorder. So we need to be very careful for the measurement of the thermal conductivity of the quantum superlegate. There are, until now, the final kappa over T have been, have been reported in several、uh, triangular test compounds shown here. So these、uh, have been discussed in terms of fermi surface of skin. Okay, the,、uh, it is widely believed that the geometrical,、uh, some kind, a, a kind of frustrations are required to obtain the quantum spin limit in two or three dimen dimensions. The,、uh, uh, uh, the most famous example of the geometrical frustrations are triangular. And carbon and pyrochloral lattices. And uh, many kinds of uh, 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 fractional excitation has been proposed. So today I'd like to talk about the、uh, quantum spin digit in the honeycomb lattice.、Uh, the honeycomb lattice does not have geomet geometrical frustrations, but, they, but it can have uh, 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 another type of frustration. So let me discuss the Kitab quantum spin digit. The, uh, uh, the、uh, Kitab model discusses spin one half. On 2D honeycomb lattice with three in increment bonds. So, k i t a interaction is Ising like, which is Ising inter like interaction, which is bond dependent. So, the, each bond favors the different direction of x and y and z. The, the, uh, the, uh, if the、uh, spins are, are aligned around z axis, the bond energies around y and, z,、uh, and x axis are not lowered. Then the,、uh, the spins cannot satisfy three different configurations simultaneously, leading to the exchange frustrations. Because of this exchange frustrations, system shows a quantum spin leaky. So, Kitaev discussed this、uh, model in term,、uh, by de 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 decomposing a、uh, spin one half into my,、uh, two sets of m y l a n f e r i m i u s localized i t i n e r a n t Then the,、uh, this, this system has an exact quantum spin leaky ground state. Depending on the,、uh, the parameters. When the、uh, exchange constant is、uh, isotropic, the system shows a gapless spin, quantum spin liquid state with no a v e r i a n n u s But when the uh, 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 exchange constant is anisotropic, a system has a、uh, system is gapless spin, quantum spin liquid、uh, with no a v e r i a n n u s But by introducing the, this link operator, the k i t a v showed. The strongly interacting、uh, spins can be written by the non interacting、uh, myelin fermions. The excitation from this、uh, the quantum spin ligand is a、uh, uh, Dietz vortex, which is localized.、Uh, introducing this、uh, bracket operator,、uh, this,、uh, this bracket operator、uh, uh, commutes with total Hamiltonian and it takes a value of plus minus one. So, in the grand state, the, all, the, all of the bracket has WP、uh, plus one. The excitation is a、uh, uh, uh, WP to minus one, and,、uh, and the excitation is called a、uh, Z vortex or a bison. The bison has an energy gap. t h e t h e summarize the result. The,、uh, the uh, 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 spin liquid has an equivalent m y l a n a and localized m y l a n a excitation. And the localized m y l a n a excitation is a uh, 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 Z flux excitation, which has an energy gap, which is、uh, nearly 10% of JK. So, at, at, at high temperature, the system is in paramagnetic. And,、uh, at, the at, uh, and at low temperatures, the spin fractionalization occurs and、uh, uh, equivalent m a r n fermion interact with these vortex. At very low temperatures, the z vortex disappears and quantum spin liquid state is realized. In this state, equivalent m a r n fermions move around the uh, uh, full crystals. So, let me discuss this quantum spin liquid state. The, Uh, in this state, the、uh, Marana fermion has a, a, a graphicon like、uh, dispersion. And, uh, uh, but if, if you apply the magnetic field, 
the helipartial symmetry is broken and the gap opens. And the topological step, which is characterized by the number plus minus one, uh, appears. And in this state, a uh, chiral Majorana current flow at the edge of the crystal. And in this case, the thermal hole effect is quantized in the units of K0. K0 is a quantum thermal conductance. And uh, in the quantized value is half of the of K0. So the, the half is because the uh, degree of freedom of Majorana is half of conventional fermion. So precisely speaking, the couple XY contains a phonon contribution and spin contributions. If we assume the phonon, phonon contribution is zero, the spin contribution is quantized. I'll be, I'll be uh, discuss this phonon contribution later. The uh, Jacquery and Kariuri discuss the Kitai type interaction in uh, real materials. The, in the octahedral crystal field, the half field D orbital split into EG and T2G orbitals. And uh, uh, the spin, strong spin orbital coupling uh, uh, gives rise to the uh, half field J equal one half step. And in the presence of strong spin, uh, strong electron correlations, J equal one half moto initiated, initiated state appears. The, in the crystal with, with the H sharing of the header, the, uh, the quantum interference between the super exchange pass from this and this usually cancels. And the Heisenberg interaction becomes rising. And in, the, in, in this crystal structures, the type type interaction is realized. The, uh, the uh, strong spin of the coupling J equal one half moto insulator after taking CL3 is a prime candidate material for the type of interactions. Actually, this material has a long type of term, such as Heisenberg and off diagonal terms. Uh, but, but actually, the re recent several experiments, such as resonant in ELSP XL scattering, so the significant of the term in this material. And this material has a uh, honeycomb lattice of ruthenium ions. Because of the, this non type term, this material has anti ferromagnetic order with a zigzag spin structure at uh, 7.5 K. The signature of the uh, fractionalization, spin fractionalization, has been reported by several experiments. Let me show you several uh, examples. The specific heat. Uh, here is the result of the specific heat. The magnetic part of the specific heat obtained by subtracting the phonon contribution shows the T linear dependence. So this T linear dependence has been attributed to the Fermi degeneracy. And uh, be, uh, just below the type of uh, temperatures, the entropy becomes nearly half of the R level two of a spin one half spin system. And this has been discussed at the, uh, in terms of the entropy release due to equivalent minor fermions. So these are, are the fingerprint of the equivalent Majorana fermion. The signature of the fractionalization also uh, reported by Raman scattering and near neutron scattering experiment. The temperature dependence of, and the energy dependence of the broad magnetic continuum of by Raman scattering has been uh, uh, attributed to the ferromagnetic excitations. And uh, magnetic continuum excitation by neutron near scattering Whereas the type temperature uh, is consistent with uh, uh, the, uh, the excitation expected in the type interactions. So this, so this result reflects the proximity of the type models. Of course, uh, uh, there's an alternative interpretation of this data. Okay, next, uh, let me discuss the uh, uh, thermal hole effect in alpha titanium CL3. Actually, the thermal hole effect in magnetic field parallel to C axis has been measured by. Uh, three groups, uh, Shevrook and uh, joint group of Kyoto and Tokyo and Dresden group. The upper figures show the kappa x axis, x axis, a thermal uh, conductivity. So all groups are reported the kinku anomaly of kappa x axis as a nerve temperature. And uh, below nerve temperature, thermal conductivity increases rapidly. And uh, below, uh, the lower figures show the uh, result of the kappa x y. The Chevrolet group recently uh, reports the kink anomaly of kappa xy at the nerve temperature, and uh, it's a uh, very nerve temperature, the kappa xx increases rapidly without showing no sign change. So they claim the strong correlation between kappa xx and kappa xy. The, the, they claim the, the uh, phonon thermal conductivity in this material. On the other hand, the 
京都湾の東京グループ湾のドレッセングループ、shows a sign change of complex y at a b n o r m a l naval temperature and no anomaly at a naval temperature. So these results indicate a no correlation between kappa x x and kappa x y. In other words, there is no evidence of the foreign thermal pole effect in this material. So the result is, is controversial. Okay. The, in this material, if you apply the magnetic field, the uh, narrow order is strongly suppressed, and, uh, and the field the induced quantum disorder state appears in magnetic field prior to the AV plane. So that we measure the thermal hole effect in heated field. In this case, the antiferromagnetic order is suppressed by the field component parallel to the AV plane. So this is a result of the thermal hole effect. In the uh, antiferromagnetic order state, we observe the very small thermal hole effect. But uh, on entering the spin liquid state, thermal hole effect is strongly enhanced, and we observe the plateau like behavior. And at high field, the plateau like behavior disappears. And uh, if, you, if we uh, uh, compare the thermal hole effect uh, uh, per uh, 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 layers, the, uh, the, the value is very close to the half of the, uh, the quantum thermal conductance. So this is uh, 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 evidence of the chiral myelin edge current. The, uh, the temperature dependence of the kappa x y shows the, uh, the, the plateau like behavior. The plateau like behavior is observed in the limited temperature range between the, uh, the 5.5 Kelvin to uh, 3.2 Kelvin, as shown in these figures. Okay, so let me discuss the uh, reproducibility of the summer hole, the quantized the summer hole effect. Until now, there are three groups measure the, the, the uh, summer hole effect of the crystal grown by Bridgman method, grown by uh, the, uh, Tokyo Institute of Technology. So uh, Yamashita uh, ISSP will observe the quantized Thermal hole conductance. And uh, uh, Hide Takagi's group, uh, uh, who, uh, who, who talked in the, in the, who talked in the uh, who is the next speaker, also observes the quantized value. Uh, but actually, the, we measure the spheral crystal, and Yamashita also measures the spheral crystal. The so some sample shows no quantization. So there are two groups, group A and group B. So group B crystal show no quantization. In this crystal, the kappa x phi is always lower than the quantized value. Actually, actually, we have some feeling. The quantization does not occur in the crystal, which shows the low kappa XX values. But anyway, the, we need more systematic studies to, to clarify this point. So there is no uh, conclusions. Why the, uh, the, uh, uh, the some sample show no quantization? OK, the, uh, this is a temperature dependence of the, uh, the, uh, uh, the thermal conductivity for, the, the, uh, for uh, three, three groups. There are the, in the sample uh, shown by sharp five, the no quantization occurs. So in this case, uh, the kappa x i over t is always smaller than the quantized value, and the degrees monotonically with the degrees in t. So the, it's a group A crystal shows so the uh, quantization in some limiting temperature range. And uh, according to the recent result by Max Planck, it is rapidly at low temperatures. So this reduction of the thermal conductivity has been discussed by the decoupling of phonons and H current. And in the group B, the always are lower, uh, the, uh, the kappa x y is, is always lower than one half of the quantized value, and the decrease monotonically with degrees in temperature. OK, next, let me discuss the uh, uh, topological properties of alpha denim shell 3. The first, I'd like to talk about the planar thermal hole effect and the channel number. The, uh, according to the Kitai model, the kappa xy is given by these equations, and the channel number is determined by field component with respect to the, the spin axis. The channel number is plus minus one. But what is important is the spin axis is different from the crystal axis because the spin axis is determined by the spin of interactions. Okay, the, in this figure, the, uh, the uh, red shows the channel number is plus one and the, uh, blue shows the channel number is minus one. So the, the channel number is angle dependent. So the, uh, here is a, a channel number in magnetic field rotating with the AV, in, 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 sorry, in AC frames. The channel number is plus in the, uh, the magnetic field uh, 40, minus 45 and minus 60 degrees. The channel number is minus if the magnetic field is applied, the 45 
and 60 uh, de de degree field from the sea axis. So the uh, sign change occurs. Another important property is that uh, channel number is finite, even in the magnetic field applied parallel to heavy parallel to A axis. So the planar, we can expect the planar thermal hall effect. So the, these properties of the thermal hall effect is essentially different from the whole effect of electron gas. So uh, this provides a, a strong the test of the type spin needed. So let me first discuss these uh, uh, properties. Here is a thermal hall effect in magnetic field uh, applied to minus 60 degree and 60 degrees. In the, uh, the spin uh, 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 of the uh, antiferromagnetic order of state, the sign of the both, direction, both field direction is the same. But in the spin liquid state, the sign change occurs. And as you see, in the, if you apply the magnetic field, apply the minus 60 degrees, the sign is plus. And uh, uh, apply the, uh, if you apply the magnetic field, the uh, 60 degrees, the sign is minus. The sign is consistent with the uh, prediction by type. And uh, uh, we observe the condensation for the post field case. So the, the whole, uh, this indicates the origin of cup XY in the spin liquid state is essentially different from that in the antiferromagnetic state. And the whole sign and uh, uh, condensation is consistent with the channel number of my band. Okay, let me discuss the uh, planar hole effect. So in this uh, measurement, we apply the magnetic field in parallel to A axis. So if you apply the magnetic field parallel to A axis, the, uh, we observe the no thermal hole effect in the uh, magnetic order state. But we observe the parallel to kappa xy in the spin liquid state. And at a high field, the kappa xy is again the quantized. And uh, the, the half, half quantization is observed here. So, uh, the, so the sign and our concession is consistent with the Kitaev model. So we apply the magnetic field parallel to B axis. In this case, from the symmetry argument, channel number is zero. So, so in this case, we observe the no thermal hole effect, indicating no minor edge current. So these are consistent with the, uh, the, the Kitaev model. Okay. The summarizing the summer hole effect of the alpha beginning shell three, the four groups until now measure the summer hole effect. The plateau and uh, half concession and the sign of kappa xy and, and uh, uh, are observed by uh, in three groups on the sample of the grown by Bridgman. Uh, and the uh, planar summer hole effect is also consistent with the uh, Kitaev model. But uh, the reason the Princeton group measures are, uh, as, as I talked by uh, Fang this morning, uh, uh, Princeton group measures a uh, thermal hole effect of, of the crystal grown by Kepler vapor transport method. So they observe the no plateau and no, no concession. And they also observe the final kappa xy in the uh, uh, in, in planar geometry, but uh, it's not quantized. But uh, actually, we need to be careful because the sign of kappa xy can be explained by magnum thermal hole effect in, in specific parameter range e of non kitaev terms. Uh, as discussed by Yonba King. But I will be discuss this point later. Okay. Next, let me discuss the uh, uh, Marana gap and the Dirac cone. So recently, the high resolution specific heat measurement has been performed by uh, Takashibachi's group, University of Tokyo, by using long reagation calorimet calorimetry technique. So using this technique, very precise determination of specific heat of tiny single crystal become possible. So they measure the, the specific heat of tiny crystal in magnetic field rotating within the AV frame, as shown by this figure. So these are the result of the antiferromagnetic state and uh, field induced quantum disordered state. So in the, by using this method, they can apply the magnetic field very accurately along the A axis and the B axis. Well, let me discuss uh, uh, the specific heat in magnetic field applied parallel to A axis. So the, uh, these are the raw data of the specific heat. The specific heat are divided by the square of, of temperature plotted as a function of T in the uh, field of uh, disorder, uh, uh, field in this disorder state. So at low temperatures, as you can see here, the heat capacity is shows a, uh, the, 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 uh, the, uh, the cube of temperature. 
So this 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 comes from the phone, the phone. Actually, the the uh, the heat capacity of scanning CLC, which is a normal preference, shows the the, the uh, t, t cubed behavior of the static heat. So the this t cubed behavior is attributed to phono. So if you subtract the phonon term, the heat capacity shows the exponential behavior, so indicating the bulk gap. So let me discuss this activation energy delta m. So the, the, uh, the heat capacity shows a broader peak at high temperatures. So according to the, the, uh, the, the calculation by Motome and Nas, uh, this peak temperature is, is, uh, is proportional to the, uh, the flux gap temperatures, Bison gap temperatures. So the, uh, according to the original Kitak paper, the, this uh, gap, Mild gap is uh, proportional to uh, uh, the, 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 the cube of magnetic field divided by the, flux, uh, the square of flux gap. So as shown by this figure, the, this gap multiplied with this uh, square of this uh, P, uh, TT max is exactly proportional to H cubed, shown so here. So this gap is consistent with the Mylana gap. So this is a result of the magnetic field parallel to the axis. Okay, so they uh, treated the magnetic field. So that they observed the gap is strongly reduced when the magnetic field is uh, treated from the A axis. So in the magnetic field applied parallel to B axis, gap closing occurs. So let me discuss uh, the magnetic field parallel to B axis. So this is a raw data of the specific heat in magnetic field applied parallel to B axis. So the, the C divided by T square is plotted as a function of T. So what is important is uh, the, uh, uh, this data has a finite intercept at T equals zero. This indicates uh, the, uh, the specific heat as a component is proportional to T square. So if we subtract the, the front term, the, uh, the uh, uh, specific heat shows our uh, so that uh, uh, show, uh, show, show, show that uh, t square term. So this indicates the uh, the magnetic contribution of the specific heat has a uh, 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 it shows a linear dispersion of the quasar particle. In other words, the Dirac cone appears in the magnetic field parallel to B axis. So summarizing the result, the if we apply the magnetic field apply the A axis, the magnetic specific heat shows a exponential behavior. And the gap is proportional to H cubed. So this is consistent with the gap, as shown by this figure. Then the, if we apply the multiple field parallel to B axis, the specific heat shows a T square dependence, indicating the uh, linear diffusion and the direct cone. So the, the, if the, the multiple field parallel to the axis, the uh, bulk is gap. But if we apply multiple field parallel to B axis, the direct cone appears in the bulk. So as I will discuss later, the existence of the Dirac cone together with the planar pole effect is crucially important for understanding the, the origin of the thermal hole effect. Okay, uh, we already discussed the uh, first order topological phase transition. The, uh, the thermal hole effect indicates the presence of intermediate phase uh, at high temperatures above the zigzag Huntington phase. However, the presence or absence of intermediate phase is still controversial. For example, the absence of such a phase has been proposed by, has been pointed out by Gurudanzen parameter or territory experiment. Actually, the Gurudanzen parameter, uh, the, uh, the, 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 this group claims no evidence of the intermediate phase. On the other hand, presence of the intermediate phase has been uh, proposed by a uh, recent uh, ESP Newton scattering experiment. Actually, just above the exact uh, anterior quarter the phase, the they claim the uh, continuum scattering of the neutron scattering in contrast to the magnum peak. The, uh, here is the angular variation of the, uh, the uh, specific heat measured by Takashibachi's group. The, yeah. Here is a uh, polar probe. The, at 8 and 9 tesla, the, they observe the clear six fold symmetry. So the six-fold symmetry is observed in this regime. 
So, but at the high field, they clearly observe the deviation from the six fold symmetry. So, this, the, at the high field, the six fold symmetry appears to be broken. This indicates a, a kind of the, some transition which blocks the six fold symmetry of Mayoka at uh, 10 or 11 Tesla. Okay, there we will, we are uh, measure the thermal conductivity in the field uh, at, at high field phase shown here. But actually, the, we, uh, the, the, we uh, more or less we observe the a kind of oscillation behavior similar to the Princeton group. However, uh, the, uh, we never observe the, uh, the oscillation in the antiferent water state. So, as, uh, as I will discuss by Hida Takagi, this may be due to the difference of the crystal, the, uh, in other words, the crystal uh, gross method dependent. But actually, the, to, uh, 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 we, we are uh, uh, observed that the vehicle disappears at low temperatures, as shown by this figure. Okay, so, uh, today, I, uh, actually, we also measure the specific heat. The specific heat shows uh, at the same temperatures. So, also, the thermal conductivity shows the oscillation behavior. So we never observe the oscillation in the specific heat. So that this oscillation come arise from the uh, the oscillation of the uh, uh, the the uh, 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 mean free pass. Okay, uh, today I would like to focus on the behavior at at eleven tesla. Okay, now at eleven tesla, the we observe the discontinuous jump of the thermal conductivity. So this jump is attributed to the first order uh, transition. So to, to, to clarify, uh, to, to confirm this behavior, we also measure the, uh, the specific heat on the same crystal. So we observe the peak anomaly of the specific heat. So the, uh, the peak anomaly occurs uh, uh, to start uh, around 10 tesla, indicating the fluctuations. So actually, the, the, this a uh, kink anomaly of the uh, thermal conductivity is observed at a higher temperature, but uh, it's smeared out at uh, open to five tesla, uh, five Kelvin, as shown by this figure. And uh, a broader peak of the specific heat also smeared out at high temperatures. This is uh, consistent with the phase transition at 11 tesla. Okay, uh, the same crystal, we also, we also measure the, uh, the uh, uh, kappa xy. The kappa xy deviate from the quantized value nearly at uh, 11 tesla. Uh, uh, this, this result is uh, 4.3 Kelvin at higher than this temperature. So this indicates the, uh, the topological phase transition occurs at 11 tesla. So the, uh, from the, this measurement, we conclude weak first order topological phase transition occurs at 80 star uh, uh, 11 tesla for in magnetic field parallel to the axis. So we never observe the, uh, such a phase transition in magnetic field parallel to the axis. So this is a, a phase diagram determined by the, uh, the specific heat and uh, uh, thermal conductivity and the kappa xy. So uh, the uh, uh, thermal conductivity shows the anomaly and uh, specific heat also shows anomaly at this point. And the deviation of the kappa xy occurs at this uh, uh, temperature. Then the uh, H star, the first order phase transition line is nearly independent of temperatures. So the, uh, from the uh, Clausius crop variations, the entropy dump uh, at the first order transition is very small at each star. So uh, the first order phase transition occurs in multiple field parallel to axis, but uh, we never observe the first order, such a transition in multiple field parallel to P axis. Okay. Then the, uh, we also measure the thermal conductivity at a high field, uh, uh, up to uh, uh, 17 tesla. So actually, there are, uh, we observe the two uh, interesting phenomena. Actually, actually both kappa uh, multiple field prior to A axis and B axis decrease with H, even above 14 tesla. Moreover, the thermal conductivity is largely, largely anisotropic, even at 17 tesla, well, uh, well above the near temperatures. So the, uh, in the simple spin polarized state, the kappa is given by this, uh, the, the sum of phono and magno, magno uh, multiple contributions. And uh, 
so for instance, zero energy is much larger than the temperatures. The phonon contribution should be field independent. And the magnetic contribution, uh, contribution should be zero because of large Zeeman gap. Therefore, the, this result is inconsistent with spin, simple spin polarized state in pictures. So the, uh, this result indicates spin fluctuation still important, even at 17 tesla. OK. So finally, uh, I'd like to talk about the, the uh, origin of the thermal hole effect. And uh, I'd like to talk about the origin of the thermal hole effect is Pelvenuk. And uh, I'd like to uh, uh, discuss why the conservation should occur in this system. Okay, uh, okay, uh, uh, let me discuss the two independent experiments, the specific heat and the prana thermal hole effect. The, uh, the, uh, the, uh, when the magnetic field is rotated or uh, uh, across in the B axis, like this, the B axis is uh, the direction. As I mentioned, the specific heat has gap when the magnetic field is tilted from the B axis. But uh, the cone appears uh, when the magnetic, uh, if the magnetic field is applied parallel to B axis. So in other words, gap closing, a gap close in magnetic field parallel to B axis, but the gap opens the, uh, the magnetic field is tilted from the B axis. The other is that experiment is a plana thermal hole effect. The, uh, as I mentioned, the, we observe the uh, plana thermal hole effect in the magnetic field applied minus A axis. So uh, some plana thermal hole effect is plus in, in magnetic field applied minus A axis. So by definition, the plana thermal hole effect is minus if the magnetic field applied of parallel to A axis. And this has been confirmed by uh, the uh, also uh, Princeton group. And uh, uh, both, both our group and Princeton group reported the thermal hole effect is zero in the magnetic, if we apply, apply the magnetic field parallel to B axis. Uh, this comes from the symmetry. Then the, uh, this indicates the sign change should occur uh, when the magnetic field is rotated uh, across in the B axis from the symmetry argument. So I'd like to uh, point out the, the existence of the cone at the magnetic field parallel to B axis together with the sign change of the planar hole effect at the H parallel to B axis. So uh, the two independent experiment uh, is crucially important for understanding the, uh, the, summer, the origin of the thermal hole effect. So let me discuss this in, in detail. The, the, uh, uh, the, there are two cases, the, the, uh, the, uh, the origin of the thermal hole effect, the fermionic or bosonic. In both cases, the sign change of, of the thermal hole effect occurs uh, because, uh, 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 along the, uh, the, the, can, can occur along the B-axis uh, and because uh, uh, the, uh, the uh, 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 topological channel number switches when you are crossing the magnetic field or the B-axis. In this case, the channel number is plus and, and uh, a minus a plus one and minus one and it changes to minus one to plus one. The same as the bosonic case. But uh, there is a, a, a crucial difference between two cases. In the, uh, in the fermion, fermion case, the topological boundary is always above and below the, the fermion energies. Then the uh, sign change of kappa, kappa xy is always accompanied by the gap closing as shown by this figure. This is not the case for the bosons. The, uh, when the, uh, the, the uh, uh, change of the, uh, uh, the switch of the topological band occurs, the gap is always finite. So, so in other words, the sign change is not related to the gap closing. So in alpha zenium shell 3, the, as I mentioned, gap closing occurs, and the sign change of the plana thermal hole effect occurs at the magnetic field parallel to B axis. These two phenomena, two independent phenomena, phenomena occur simultaneously. Therefore, the, this is the case. This is a case for alpha denim CL3. Then, therefore, the, the, uh, we conclude the thermal hole effect is very unique in origin. So, in this case, needless to say, the thermal hole conductance should be quantized. So, the, uh, the specific heat measurement 
and the plural summer hall effect is consistent with uh, the quantized summer hall conductor. This is our conclusion. Okay, uh, uh, let, let me summarize my talk. So we observe the summer, a uh, half integer summer quantum hall effect in alpha team shell three, and which is a uh, 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 quantized in the, in the unit of K0. And this is confirmed by some groups, but uh, uh, this is not confirmed by some group. So, so it, it, uh, uh, the char number is in good agreement in, in agreement with the minor band of the style model. The, and we observe the prana hole effect and the sign change occurs between a 60 degree and minus 60 degree. And the specific heat measurement shows a minor gap in multiple field parallel to the axis and the real cone at the magnetic field parallel to the axis. This is consistent with the Kitai spin liquid. The we observe the discontinuous jump of the summer conductivity and the peak anomaly of the uh, specific heat. This indicates the first of that logical field transition at the 11 Tesla in the spin liquid state. So finally, the, uh, the summer whole sign change occurs at the magnetic field parallel to the axis, and at the same time, the gap closing occurs at the amount of part of the axis. This independent experiment indicates that some of the uh, summer hole effect is very unique in origin and the condition should occur. Okay, uh, thank you very much. Thank you very much, <coughs> Yuji, for this uh, beautiful talk. Um, and we have time for some questions now. So um, let's see, I think, um, let's see. So, Andre, would you like to go? Um, sure, thanks. Um, Yuji, thanks for the wonderful talk. That, that was a lot of information there. <laughs> um, could I ask a question in one of the slides? I'm not going to ask you to put it up because I don't know how many slides back that was. But you had um, comparison of the um, thermal hole uh, performed by different groups. Um, and you had, you know, red and blue curve for group A, group B, and they showed vastly different phenomena, right? One looked like it was quantized, the other was decaying. Um, and so could you repeat what you said when you showed that data? What was the conclusion of what? Yes, this. So what okay. should we conclude from looking at the red and the blue curve? Could you could you please repeat? Uh, okay, there are... In group A, uh, okay, we, we measure the, uh, the five, uh, more than five crystals and uh, uh, Yamashita measures more than three crystals. And some of my, some sample shows a concentration. And concentration occurs in the, uh, the, the, the some uh, tem temperature range shown here, group A. Okay. But in the group B, we never observe the concentration. But in this case, the summer for conductivity is always less than the contact value and decrease monotonically with the temperature. But uh, actually, we don't know the origin, but actually we have some feeling. The concentration occurs only in the crystal, which, show, which has large kappa XX, but no concentration occurs uh, in the sample with small uh, kappa XX. But, but again, the, uh, this is not a conclusion. The, we need more systematic studies. I see, I see. And, and so, uh, actually, uh, frankly, we don't know the, the, the why the the, the, the reason why the some crystal shows a concession, but why some crystal do not show the I see. And, and even in those cases where quantization is seen, you're pointing out that at low enough temperatures, you expect it to go away, correct? Yeah. Like on the next slide. And and is the reasoning what you said here that the phonons decouple from the edge current? Is, is that what you're saying? It, it's a survey by Achimoroshan and Leo Marins. I see. So, so that's the okay, We didn't measure the, uh, the low temperature, but uh, Hide Takagi's group measured the, the uh, summer hole effect at the low temperature, and uh, they, uh, they observed this phenomenon. Gotcha. Okay. Thank you so much. And and for the the crystals of group A or group B, are the, they're nominally the same growth method? Yeah, same method. By a uh, uh, semester by a uh, 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 bridge by method.
Um, so, uh, hi, Yanki, would you like to go? Uh, yes, thank you. Um, so, can I ask a question about the specific heat um, that uh, you have a low temperature specific heat where you may have to subtract yeah. the phonon contributions? Yes. Why do you expect that phonon will be the directional, independent of directional? Or do you expect to have some, you know, field along the a-axis, field uh, along uh, the axis? Uh, uh, yeah, I don't know. That's an important question that we assume the same. Right, but the That's phonons the will have different, in principle, can have different uh, velocities uh, because uh, b-axis is along the bond, parallel to the bond, and a is uh, perpendicular to the bond. Yeah, OK. My yeah. longitudinal mode will be different. So in principle, I could imagine yeah, okay, yeah. different. Yeah, 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 uh, without subtracting the, the data, the, 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 uh, uh, the uh, heat capacity is very different between the axis and the B axis. The B axis heat capacity is much larger than the, uh, the, that in the, par, uh, the uh, heat capacity uh, around the A axis. So indicating the quasi particle excitation in magnetic field parallel to B axis. But that's uh, after you subtract it. Do you have a raw data without the subtraction? Yeah, but as I mentioned, uh, without the subtraction, this is a raw data. Yeah. Uh, the, 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 the divided by uh, t squared as a function of t. So we have a finite intercept in here. This indicates our, uh, the, the heat capacity is proportional to t squared, consistent with uh, the zero cone. So the, uh, the result of uh, the, sub, uh, the subtraction of the phonon term, we can conclude the as a presence of Dirac Kuhn. Okay, well. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah I, I mean, if maybe one should think about it because uh, yeah. in principle, I would expect that the uh, specific it will have a lattice dependence. So because you have C3, I mean, rotational symmetry. Yeah, but, okay. Uh, so I, I'm not sure subtracting the constant in a different direction is supposed to be the right point. Yeah, yeah, but 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 uh, in this this data we did not subtract. This Wait, is the raw data. Yeah. And okay. also the, the multi-field part of the a-axis. So this is uh, again this is a raw data. And uh, uh, the the heat capacity shows a T cubed behavior at low temperatures. And this cubed behavior is also observed in normal degree variance, scanty material three. And this uh, the yeah, the special heat is very close to the uh, this uh, the normal requires. So the I don't think that we have a subtraction has a serious problem. Mm. All right. Okay. Thank you. But you could potentially measure the scandium chloride three anisotropy, right? Uh, the, to see uh, the yeah. Thing. Yeah, but, but this is uh, the result of the uh, uh, in, zero, in zero view. It would only come from the field dependence of the specific heat, obviously. In, um, and there's no real reason why there should be a strong field dependence of the phonon thermal conductivity. Those couplings would be very weak. Yeah. So, so theoretically, it's a reasonable thing to do. Uh, uh, Nick, can I go ahead and yes, ask? Yes, please questions? go ahead. Yep. Uh, um, uh, you've you've shown many measurements in which you take the temperature down well below four Kelvin. Why don't you show the the uh, kappa x y at, at temperatures smaller than four Kelvin? Uh, no, so uh, we can see it. Yeah, yeah. yeah now no, we, we are trying to that measurement, uh, but uh, unfortunately uh, we could not measure the thermal hole effect below three Kelvin uh, because of our experimental setup. But now we are trying to measure. I see. What what was the specific aspect of the experimental setup that made it difficult to do uh, below four Kelvin? The, the, the problem is some weather. 
I see. Okay. Thank you very much. It was a lovely talk. Um, Inti, please, would you like to go? Yeah, just one question, Yuji. So this uh, uh, gaplessness that you see along the B axis, yeah. if I understand correctly, you're saying that it never disappears with field? So to the largest fields that you measure, it still remains gapless? Uh, you're talking about switch peak measurement, right? Yeah. 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 Even at the 12 tesla, it's gapless. Because we so then they, the, But eventually it should be gapped, right? So there is then some further transition that has not been yet detected, you are proposing, at some larger field? Uh, or? Yeah. Okay. Of, of, of course, if you apply the personal magnetic field, the system should be gapped. Because the system is close to the uh, conventional the, uh, the, the spin polarized state, then the wheel will be gap. But uh, in this case, the even at the 12 Tesla, we, uh, we still observe the uh, electron. Okay. And uh, if you have as I mentioned, even at, okay, many, many people believe there are. It's, 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 The, if I apply the magnetic field, for example, the 70 tesla, the system is a simple spin polarized state. But this is not true because the thermal conductivity has through larger anisotropy and decreases the magnetic field. This indicates that even at the 70 tesla, spin fractionalization is important. Okay. Maybe we need to apply a much stronger magnetic field to observe the simple spin polarized state. Okay, thank you. So, Haya, do you want to? Ask yeah, I just uh, want to understand what I mean. Just following the in discussion, uh, so eventually you will have to get to the polarized state, right? Yeah, yeah, fine, yes. Right. So, <laughs> you are saying it will appears above the seventeen Tesla, but yeah. if you keep applying, <laughs> uh, once it become a polarized state, just like what you showed the Q quantum spin like gate two to the polarized state, you have some transition that you have shown and that'll yeah. happen in the B field as well. Right? Yeah. Can't it be a crossover? Yeah. Why can't it be a crossover? But with the experiment with a much higher field. But anyway, there are, there's a, uh, sorry. We expect, uh, there's a pair transition here. And there's another quantum speed. But we can expect another crossover or phase transition at even higher field. Right. Yes. Yeah, so where that appears, and that can be different between the a-axis and b-axis, and why yeah, they have think, to be different. Uh, I, I don't know. Okay. Maybe they're very, very different. Uh, a-axis and b-axis should be different. But actually, there are, we have no phase transition in my field prior to b-axis. At a different Tesla. But the still system is anisotropic, even at the 70 Tesla. Right. I mean, my, from a microscopic point of view, A and B are very different. But uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm trying to understand uh, if um, if you have just guitar type interactions, uh, can you explain that? Oh. No. But why do you say that this phase? that you call QSL2 is a spin liquid, Yuji, just to follow up on these questions, ah, so along A the, axis. Uh, just be, just, just with because- zero uh, churn number, what is, what is telling you that it's a spin liquid? Oh, because uh, uh, I, I call this spin liquid just, just because uh, this is not, a, uh, as I mentioned, uh, this is not a simple spin polarized state. And, uh, uh, the spin fractionation is still important because of this large anisotropy of the specific heat, as a large anisotropy of the thermal conductivity along the axis and the axis. This is why we call this uh, state as a uh, quantum spin liquid state. But if you don't like it, well, we can call it as some kind of parametric state. I'm just trying to, because you're saying that it's an anisotropy. Yeah. And um, maybe the fact that kappa is going down, so that's strange behavior, certainly. But seems yeah, yeah. because uh, what I want to say is, uh, uh, this is not a simple spin polarized state. 
because in the spin, spin, spin principle oral set, uh, this should be uh, field independent and become isotopic. Because there is no magnetic contribution of the thermal conductivity. Then the, this, uh, the, uh, this is why the we, 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 I, I, I mentioned that the spin fractionation is still important in this, even in this field range. This is why the way I call this uh, 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 the, the quantum spin, uh, new, uh, quantum spin step. Okay. Thank also you. the channel number is zero. So, Lou Lee, would you like to ask a question? Hey, you too. Uh, interesting talk. Um, 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 uh, this may be a little bit irrelevant, but stupid. But um, when you guys did the heat capacity, did you guys try C axis? Is the phonon background very different or comparable? Uh, your questions are the heat capacity in our. Uh, Along C axis. Uh -huh. We 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 actually we we cannot measure the 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 heat capacity along the C axis. Yeah, but uh, essentially the same as the in zero field. If I remember. Mm -hmm. So you are saying there's no much field dependence. Yeah. Okay. If I, I yeah. yeah. If, if I remember. Right. All right. Yeah. Thanks. So I believe there are no more questions. So um, we should probably move on to our next speaker. So let's thank for uh, UG one more time.